I'm gonna show you how to create the very best customer journey for your business fast. No more worrying about, oh, what type of sequence should I send them along? How do I make this offer? None of that. We're getting right dive into right of that, and we're getting started right now. Yo, what is up? Zachary Babcock, former drug addict, spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur and the proven wrong prodigy with a top 200 rated podcast on iTunes. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on lead generation and customer acquisition, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. With that being said, yeah, we're about, I'm about to show you the exact sequence on how to build the best customer journey uh, for your curious prospects and how to turn them into happy customers right now. So get ready. Let's head to the slide deck and let me show you how to do this. All right, we're about to get into the fourth and final component of dialing in and building a growth engine. Now, growth engine is how to turbocharge your lead generation and your customer acquisition within your business. If you haven't watched the three previous videos in this series, I highly recommend doing that now. I'm going to leave a link in the top right corner in the cards right there. The ideal audience start with that video video, then move on to the compelling offers, then engaging content, and then finally come here, and then come back here and finish this video. Okay, cool. Now that you have watched all three of those videos, we're going to dive into the fourth component, which is the relationship path. All right, so the relationship path is a specific sequence of experiences your ideal audience goes through on their journey from becoming mildly interested to becoming a happy customer. Uh, this is also called a customer journey, a sales process, or a marketing funnel. However, don't confuse this with, an on with online funnels. While some businesses do use automated marketing funnels as one kind of relationship path, not all businesses require that kind of path. Yours might be, um, you might be putting out flyers within your community, you might be a local business or something, putting out flyers, and then you uh, onboard them through a sales call or whatnot. You might not even use an automated marketing funnel at all. So um, yeah, relationship applies to all business models. All right, so many small businesses do not understand the key concept of LTV, which is long-term value of a customer relationship, or the CCA, the cost of customer acquisition, because it is expensive to acquire a new customer relationship. When you do gain a customer, you want to serve them to your highest ability, and you want that relationship to have a long-term value. Small businesses move from struggling or stuck to scaling, which is growing, once the LTV of a customer is higher than the cost to acquire the customer. An effective relationship path provides a way for you to nurture customer relationships over time in a systematic, sustainable, and profitable way. And sequence does matter. Like your first message would be like uh, you're building the relationship with them. It might be an ad where you're offering value and it's uh, you're conveying your big idea to them. And then you move on to your first offer and second offer and so on. So sequence really does matter. Kind of like with a girl. If you meet her for the first time, you're out hanging out, you don't want to get down on one knee and ask her to marry you the very first few minutes that you meet her. It'd probably be better to, you know, uh, learn about her, you know, like we discussed in the ideal audience, figure out her vibe, her worldviews, her problems, her desires. And uh, if it's fitting, be like, hey, me and a couple of my friends, we're, we're, a bunch of our friends, we're going out to a Red Hot Chili Peppers concert next uh, next week. We'd love for you to come join us. Is that something you'd like to do? That's more compelling. The sequence of it matters. And then you build up to the proposal and so on. Uh, just using a quick analogy right there for that. So what is the best sequence of experiences to help your ideal audience build along term relationship what is your best sequence to introduce your free and paid offers all right so we congratulations we if you made it this far we went through all four of these components your ideal audience compelling offers engaging content and relationship path let's do a quick recap all right uh, first is you got to narrow your niche and then get great at meeting their needs and then once you feel confident in your ideal audience selection the next step is to craft truly compelling offers that genuinely meet their needs. Next, you need to create engaging content to attract them into your ecosystem and begin the conversation, begin the relationship. And then finally, you need to design the optimum relationship path with the best sequence of free and paid offers as the relationship progresses. Your customer journey, your sales process, marketing funnels, also known as those as well. 
so you can download my worksheets to get your relationship path dialed in and join me on a small group workshop to get specific feedback on your unique business while I'm still running these workshops. What I've shown through you so far through this video series is basically the what. It's showing you what it is and what to do. I can't really show you the how yet because every business is, is different. It's unique. So I would need to talk to you then and learn about your specific business and how you're serving your customers, how you have it set up so I can show you exactly how to install growth in So I hope you enjoy, uh, join us on a small group workshop. I'll leave the description, uh, the link to it in the, I'll leave the link to it in the description below. It's uh, the Growth Engine Blueprint, and the link is uh, underdogacademy.com forward slash GEB. On there, you'll be able to download all my worksheets and go through additional video training. And then on the second page, you'll be able to schedule uh, your slot for a free workshop to come join me to get specific um, feedback on your unique business. All right, did you find that helpful? If you want uh, to come join me in a small group workshop where I can give you specific feedback on how to build out this customer journey, how to do your ideal audience, how to craft your compelling offers, how to do your engaging content, all that for your specific business model in a small group workshop setting so I can answer all of your specific questions and you want further additional video to train tutorials before you come to the workshop, make sure you check it out in the description below. It's called, uh, the link is uh, underdog academy.com forward slash GEB. It's linked up in the comments below. Uh, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below and give it a thumbs up. What about it that you found helpful? Was it, uh, was there any aha moments? And if you thought it sucked and could use some improvement and you know some areas of where it can improve or you just didn't really think it was good at all, let me know in the comments below and give me a thumbs down. Your honest opinion, your sincere, true, honest opinion uh, and feedback really helps me become a better YouTuber and give you better videos in the future. With that being said, I hope you subscribe to the channel if you like the best tips on lead generation and customer acquisition. Hit subscribe tap the bell notifications that way you don't miss anything I will see you on the next video thanks for tuning in until then you can check out one of these videos that I'm getting ready to share with you right now we put them hours in to bring them dollars in uh -oh. it's that underdog empowerment we put them hours in to bring them dollars in my name is Zachary Bell.